everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm creating this really really easy look so I'm starting with my Pons Aqua collagen essence toner I love this stuff just to soften my skin and get it ready for makeup I always start with this in the mornings just making sure my skin's nice and fresh my skin is very dry so I like to pump it with as much moisture as I can I'm taking my Neutrogena Hydro Boost water gel I have been obsessed with this stuff i've bought it in all the different formulas and i just love it like it's seriously so amazing so i'm just applying a really really generous amount of this to my skin and then i'm taking my neutrogena eye roller ball which has been really helping keeping all my eczema in check and of course no makeup tutorial from me would be complete without myself drenching my face in fix plus i love this stuff for before or for after makeup it really is liquid gold to my skin type just to make it soft and plump looking taking mac studio fix fluid it is still one of my favorite foundations it really does give me a desirable coverage so i can wear it really really full or really really soft i sort of went for a bit of the middle road today i did about one and a half to two pumps and I'm just buffing it into my skin really, really evenly and slowly. I use the color NW10 so that then I can add warmth using a face powder. And then I'm going to take Pro Long Wear Concealer by MAC as well. I use NW20 just to sort of match my skin tone and really help to cover the darkness that I naturally get under my eyes. So I'm applying that with my finger to start with. And then I'm going in with a damp beauty sponge. This one is from Chi Chi. I have been obsessed with their sponges because they're super affordable and I really feel like they do the job for the price point that they have. I'm popping that on and then I'm just pressing it into the skin with my blender. To set my concealer, I'm using this Thin Lizzy Airbrush Veil Loose Powder. I've been really liking this to sort of semi-bake my skin. I don't leave the powder on too long because my skin is super dry and it really just, it doesn't need it. So I press it in with my damp beauty sponge and then I sort of press away the excess. I don't leave it to bake too long. I just sort of press it into the skin this way and I find that gives me a really long wearing concealer but also hydration. I'm taking Studio Care Blend Press Powder in the color light just very gently over the rest of my face. This powder is great if you are dry because it's so creamy and nourishing that you can still set your whole face without it going cakey and dry. I'm taking a little bit of Cosmic Force Mineralized Blush to start sculpting my face out. I love to use this blush to just sort of start creating some shape and some color and dimension to my skin because it suits my skin tone so, so much and it just looks really soft and natural, especially when I don't have any tan on. And then I'm taking this duo, which is in Bone Beige and Emphasize. So it's like a sculpting and shaping powder and I'm using that just to enhance that contour just slightly. Next, I'm going to take one of my favorite products, the Nuanced Mineralized Skin Finish. It is so beautiful as a blush, so I've been popping that sort of all over my cheekbones and my cheeks and even dusting it up onto my temples, and it just gives the slightest flush to the skin. It looks beautiful. Then I'm taking Soft and Gentle, of course. I love this stuff. It's so buildable. It's so easy to work with, and you create so many different looks with it. Taking a little bit more of that Thin Lizzy powder, I'm just sculpting out my cheekbones. I find this really helps to just clean everything up without it turning into too sharp or too harsh of a contour. And then, of course, I am drenching my face again in Fix Plus. I find doing this after all your powders, especially for dry people, it just makes your skin look so creamy and beautiful. For my brows, I'm starting with Dirty Blonde Fluid Line by MAC and I'm just creating an outline to my brows. I like to take a gel or a pomade or something like that that's a little bit more pigmented and just create that sharp outline of where I like the density to be most focused. Then I go in with the powder and I start sculpting out the inner portion of the brow. I'm using the Sigma Brow Duo in Medium. I usually use a mixture of the light and the dark color just depending on the look of the brow that I want for that day, whether it's darker or softer. And then taking the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper, I believe that was what it was called. You can see I've um, well used mine and I'm just popping that through my brows to set them in place. For eyeshadows today, I'm taking my custom MAC Cosmetics palette in the color in the center. It's called Ho. It's one of my favorite shadows ever just for using as a light transition shade. So I'm taking a really, really big fluffy brush and just blending it all over my eyelid and through my crease, building up the color as I go. 
then taking that same shade on a smaller, fluffier brush and I'm popping it through my lower lash line and through the outer V of my eye. And then taking my Eyes by 15 Cool Neutral Palette by MAC Cosmetics in the shade in the top corner. It is called Blackberry. I'm using that same fluffy brush and I'm just blending it through the outer third of my eye just to really intensify that outer crease and give the eye a really fluttery sort of elongated look. I'm taking Mylar, the second shade on the top row, and I'm pressing that into the inner portion of my eye. I'm taking this a little bit past halfway along my eye and blending it into that color that we have there. Just going back to that fluffy brush to help blend the edges. Finally, I'm taking the second last color on the first row, which is called After Dusk. It's a limited edition to that palette, but I'm using that color just between those two shades just as a nice transition because it has a little bit of shimmer to it. I find that it really helps to just blend from a light color to a dark color because you've got the reflect there. I'm taking Cat's Meow Modern Twist Kajal Liner and I'm lining my waterline. So I'm doing the top and bottom waterline as black as I can and then I'm running that along the lid of my eye as well. This will sort of create the base for the eyeliner that we're using and I like to do this when you're having one of those days where you just need your liner to work really quickly. I find using a little bit of eyeliner and a brush to really buff it out, you can map out the shape that you want without any mistakes. The liner look that we're doing today, it just sort of creates that base of colour and that blend for us to work with. Then I used a little bit of liquid liner, which I filmed really, really well as you can see. But I'm just taking sort of that outer portion and just creating a really, really dense line there because that's the only spot that I really want it to be nice and sharp. Then I'm just taking a little bit more of that liner and just building up the colour. Just keep building until you get the depth that you want. And then I'm just going to take a dark black shadow and just press it into the lash line. It's all about building up the colour and blending it out. Time for a coating of mascara and lashes. I'm using CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume and MAC number 36s. Popping those lashes on and then just pressing a little bit more of my black shadow over the lash band to, to help blend it. For lips today, I'm being really extra and I'm using three products. I'm starting with Plum Lip Pencil by MAC and I'm outlining my lips. I like to do this really, really deep and then feather it in towards the edges to create a really full look to the lips. taking the MAC lipstick Really Me and I'm popping that all over my lips just to create the base of colour. I like to pop it on and then blend it in and then pop a little bit more on and blend it in. And I like to also use my finger just to really help to smooth that transition between liner and lipstick. And finally, I'm popping a little bit of blankety in the centre of my lips. This just gives a little bit of lightness and a little bit of gloss. And that, guys, is the finished look. I really love this look because I think it's really, really simple to create, but it looks effective. Please leave me a comment down below of what you'd like to see next. As always, thank you for tuning into my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.